a defiant remembrance of one of the darkest days in Philippine democracy. Thousands took to the streets on Wednesday to commemorate the day, 50 years ago, that the current president's father declared martial law. It's surreal and at the same time, it's also of course enraging no? because what my um, relatives have gone through during martial law is in danger of being repeated now. The uh, proclamation of martial law is not... The late president Marcos ruled for 21 years, during which thousands of people were victims of wrongful imprisonment, torture and extrajudicial killings. He also amassed an estimated 5 to 10 billion dollars in ill-gotten wealth. Activists here say these are proven facts. But his son, now President Ferdinand Bombong Marcos Jr., denies his father imposed martial rule to stay in power. Most people do not realize the communist rebels, how close they came to Manila. And that's why uh, it was necessary to declare martial law. Critics say the Marcoses have been on a whitewashing campaign for years. They admit it has been a success, but say they intend to keep pushing back. The battle cry for many of the demonstrators here for years has been never again. Never again to human rights atrocities. Never again to let another Marcos lead the Philippines. Well, the first arguably and the second clearly now impossible. But what they're hoping for is that their countrymen and women will never forget. Armed with a laptop and a scanner, 19-year-old Carl Patrick Suyat and about 30 other volunteers started archiving media coverage from the first Marcos presidency shortly after the younger Marcos took office. Because the Marcoses have this historical baggage, I'm very, very sure that they have this lingering motivation to extirpate any proof of their crimes. In just a few short months since Bongbong Marcos won the election, a movie has been released depicting the family's retelling of the 1986 uprising that ousted Marcos Sr. And books have been labeled as subversive. Science, together with the proliferation of disinformation online, Suya says that make his work more urgent than ever. Barnabilo Al Jazeera, Manila.